John Coleman, your first win in a little while. How does that performance rate in terms of what your team's produced this season? Uh, it was a different performance. You know, our fans are delighted. You know, I think because there's so many of their fans here, to be honest. But you know, everyone will be saying, oh, isn't it great to beat Wrexham? If you look at it dispassionately and don't get involved in all the hype, we were two leagues above them last year. We should be beating them. Certainly at home, we should be beating them. Now you can take into the account that there's, um, they've had an influx of money here and you know, their, um, their budgets will be, will be way above ours and they can have, um, you know, two, two players for this position, two recognised players for this position. But we've always said that, you know, uh, the, the, the beauty of Atlanta Stanley and um, it has been since ever I walked through the door. Uh, myself, Jimmy, and latterly John. And certainly since Andy Oates came here. The, um, it's, it's about being rich in passion and pride and desire. And when we come off it, we get disappointed with ourselves. I get disappointed with myself. I always look for what I could have done differently. And I think over the last couple of weeks I've made the wrong substitutions or I haven't made the right substitutions at the right time. And so I've beat myself up a little bit. Um, and, you know, we do discuss it amongst the coaching staff, so it's not all down to me. You know, we do we do try and have a consensus of opinion and we, we do try to, to get it right. And you're always trying to get it right. You know, you're not, you're not just doing it flippantly and you're not doing it as though you don't care. You know, we... We're desperately upset when it goes wrong, um, and you know we we were forced to shuffle the pack today with with the injuries that we had. I thought the lads would come in. I, I said to them on Thursday, we have to look at this as a positive. It's an opportunity that somebody else wouldn't have got, and you've got to grab it with both hands. Delighted for Louis Shipley getting man the match. Totally deserved it, um, but there was a, a lot of going back to Silla there, aren't they? A lot, a lot. There was lots of big performances today. That's what the Cody had doing that we've signed. That's what we know we can do. And he's a, he's a constant thorn in the side, very unlucky to be booted, which takes a little bit of energy off his game, but not enough that it deterred him. He ran himself into the ground today. He showed he cared. Um, and hand on heart, I don't think you could... You could fault any one of our players. You couldn't give any one of our players less than an eight. But you know, as Jimmy quite rightly said in his dressing room there before, you know, you, you still only get the same amount of points that we would have got if we'd have beat Colchester, or we would have got if we'd have beat Crawley. So we don't want to be doom and gloom. We don't want to look back. We want to look forward. But we've got to inform ourselves with what's happened in the past and and learn quickly. Learn not what not to do and how easily it is to take your eye off the ball. And we can't coast. We've got to be at full throttle every time we play. And if we're at full throttle every time we play, every time we play, sorry, we've got a good chance of winning games of football, certainly in this league. And you watch the game that, you know, we all, most of us watched the, the Notts County game beforehand, and you've seen the goals that were presented, uh, or the goals that were scored by both teams. And the chances that was presented in that game, which you know that that's representative of the league. Lots of chances are made in this in this league. Keeping them out is is very very vital to any team. But then you've got to be clinical when you get your opportunities. And thankfully today we were. You took the decision to kind of release Ros Longello into that forward role by putting Shipley in at, at left back. How much do you, do you feel that paid off? I guess for both of them. It did. You know, it paid off in abundance. But you know what. Sadly, you know, Ross has come off again with another knock on his ankle, which seems to be a reoccurring theme. Um, and Tommy going over on his ankle was a big blow. Great to get Josh back on the pitch. He's, uh, I think that the the medical term is breathing out of his backside at the moment. Uh, but I'm sure he'll come on, uh, you know, for a, a week with the antibiotics, mate. I assume the world's a good. Uh, and you know players are players are waiting for their opportunities 
and I've got to grab notes. Ben hasn't played the last couple of games, though. Ben was very, very good today. Um, I'm singling people out and I shouldn't because you know you couldn't fault anybody. Seamus has ran himself into the ground. We didn't expect him to get the trip. You know, he's got 100, 112, uh, 102 minutes. Um, I should have to think the amount of kilometres he's run. But I know he, the next time I ask him to do it, he'll do it again. And that's testament to him as a character. Did your heart miss a beat when that 10 went up? I expected it, to be honest. And, and listen, I've been champion for years, so I'm not going to complain when we're winning. I've been champion for years that they should play adequate time. You know, when most games, I think, most games of football do require 10 minutes. It's just that there's been a tendency not to, not to put on as much as what should be done. So I think it's refreshing in the morning. Talk to me about a few penalty decisions in that game. You got one, they got one. There were perhaps a couple of others that weren't given. What did you think? Uh, difficult to tell from where I am for either of the penalties that was given. Uh, I think the, their one, I think he's attempted to get the ball and the lad's being cute and got himself in the way. So we'd be calling for the pen there. So I, I've got no complaints until I see it back. But my first thought was that I can see why that one was given. I was too far away from their one, but it seems we've had a lot of uh, players hold down on the box and get nothing. We could have easily had one for handball in the first half. Um, I, th I think in the end, I'm glad the penalties became immaterial because I think we should be focusing on how we played. Um, and, you know, I might sound a little bit condescending saying we were two leagues above this team. That is fact, but you know I'm not being I'm not trying to be a smart aleck. Um, they have got really good players, and they I'd be very surprised if they're not at the business end, either in the automatics or certainly pushing for promotion at the at the at the end of the season in the playoffs because they've got they've signed good players, and you know they've got a steady management team who who know what it's like to win with this club, and I I can. I can testify to that when you know how to get a team going to win things. The next one seems to be a bit easier. Um, but they have got really good players who, you know, are very, very good for this level. And having the, the bonus of being able to sign more players so that when one gets injured or one goes out of the way, like James McLean today, they've got ready made replacements for them, you know what I mean? They're putting on really strong forwards at the end, and um, you know they they're proven forwards. We've got lads who we can put on that will run themselves into the ground. So it's a little bit of balance with both ends. What what becomes the most effective? We've just got to try and eat every last drop out of what we've got in this squad. I'm so proud of them the way they've they've responded. They've responded to, to criticism. They've responded to, and not just by me, by the way, you know, we try to constructively criticise, and it's an open forum, so we, we, we believe in, in trying to one pick it as a team, as a squad. But what you've got to remember is most of our players played 130 minutes. 100, or, well, yeah, but they, but they had the time, probably. Yeah, probably 120, 100, yeah, 100, nearly, nearly 130 minutes on Tuesday. They didn't. And so to see how much we were running at the end is a testament to their character. And they deserved the winter.